Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.1542 for version 24H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, we're getting a new position for the widgets entry point on left aligned taskbars, which I think is pretty interesting. We've had this feature on the beta channel, if I'm not mistaken, for quite a while, but now that is coming to the dev channel as well. And also you're going to notice that the widget icon will be slightly larger and wider because we are left aligned. But whenever you right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings and taskbar behaviors and you use the center alignment, you're going to see that on this belt, we have a slight bug that basically enables us two new different widget entry points, but with a simple explore.exe restart, the problem should be fixed. Of course, this is slowly rolling out for users who have the toggle on to receive all the new features. But I think this is something pretty interesting that diversifies the taskbar for people who are using the left aligned taskbar. Also, Microsoft updated the taskbar to now support first letter navigation. So when you set your keyboard focus to the taskbar by pressing Windows plus T on your keyboard, you can press a letter and it will jump to the open or pinned app whose name starts with that letter. So for example, F jumps us to the file Explorer or C to the Copilot app. Pressing the letter multiple times will jump to the subsequent app which starts with that letter if there are multiple apps for that letter. For those using on combined taskbar rather than app name, the first letter navigation will use the window name. Also, pressing the home and end buttons on your keyboard will move the keyboard focus to the first and last items in the taskbar. Also in this build on the dev channel, we're getting some new settings related to the camera. So if we're going to Bluetooth and devices and then cameras, and then we select our camera, we're going to notice that we're going to have this new option advanced camera configuration then we can click on edit and we're going to have two new different options that are currently tested by Microsoft and these new options don't do anything right now but in the near future of course they will work so basically we're getting two different options the first one being the multi-app camera designed for the hard of hearing community to allow multiple video apps to stream from this camera at the same time once turned on camera settings such as brightness can only be changed from this page also camera basic mode turns off basic camera streaming functionality to be used to debug to camera issues when all other methods have failed. I think that is pretty interesting. We also have fixes in this build. So for example, related to input, fix an issue causing test suggestions for the hardware keyboard to not work properly. Also fix an issue causing the emoji panel to close when trying to switch to the cow emoji and symbol sections or after selecting an emoji. Also fix an issue in registry editor where when editing a D word or a Q word, if you paste it in a hex value into the text box and saved it, the value saved might not be the one you had entered. Microsoft also fixed an issue where adding additional language languages or optional features might fail with an error in the last few flights. They also fixed a Windows kernel vulnerable driver and also a firmware update might fail if you turn on BitLocker. Of course, there are a few more other fixes, but those will be listed in the article below where you can find them on the official Microsoft blog post. But this is pretty much all there is to it to the latest dev channel build, which is the build 26120.1542. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Hosey Mario from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.